Hi, I'm going to be talking about understanding package resolution in Node.js today. I'm Yazin Zipli. I am a senior software engineer at Sentry. I am a Node.js technical steering committee member and an OpenGS Foundation cross-project cross council member. You can um, reach me from my GitHub account, github.com slash anonrec, and from Twitter, x.com slash So in summary, today we're going to talk about CommonJS, ES modules, ESM, um, package JSON structure and package JSON loader in Node.js. So um, let's start with common JS. So common JS is the first and the, uh, the most wide known module resolution strategy in um, Node.js. Uh, it includes uh, files with require, export implementations with module.exports or exports. Um, it can have an extension of .cgs or gs. Um, require, require calls does not have to include the extension of the file and loading a file is synchronous. So basically, if you want to do a conditional loading, let's, let's say you have a function called read file and whether just, just, uh, just when this function is executed, you want to load a file and use that file, that implementation in your function, then you need to use require inside this function. The, ca the, the caveat of this implementation is that on um, in the first line of in read file, the lazy loaded module is question question equal require that leader. That's, that's going to block the execution of this file because it's a synchronous call. And it's going to block the IO depending on um, the size of the file itself. As you can see, the extension is not required, dot slash reader. This means that first, um, the loader is going to check for dot gs extension, then dot json, and so on and so forth. And then it will return a value, and then we can run this function. So in order to load, load this file without an extension, this implementation makes a synchronous call to the file system in order to understand is if reader.js file exists. If not, it automatically checks for reader.json if it exists and so on and so forth. And then it will return uh, an error if it's not found. This is particularly slow because in order to understand if that file exists, you need to make additional file system calls and it will impact your performance. Uh, small or big, it will impact it. So despite common GS implementation, as I said, common, common GS, um, in order to include additional modules with common GS, you need to call it with require. Inside that function that you want to require, you need to export the implementation with module experts and so on and so forth. So it can have an extension of .cgs, which is common GS and GS implementation. But in ES modules, it's a lot a lot different, the, the idea behind it. It's introduced in Node.js 8.5.0 with an experimental flag. In, in order to include files, you need to call it with import. If if this import statement is on top of the implementation, like it's, if it's not inside the function, then you can use import blah, blah. blah. But if, if it's inside a function, you need to await um, the import statement because import retor returns a promise. So export implementations with export and export default and can have an extension of .mgs or gs and async loading a module file. So it's uh, in the base, it's uh, async uh, loading structure. So in order to load the module conditionally, just like the previous implementation, you need to call it with lazy loading module uh, question mark question mark equal await import and this makes this particular function an async call whether or not the lazy loaded module that do something is uh, async or not this is the main reason for this is that when you await an import a module it doesn't block the io on top of that we talked about common GS file extensions and mgs file extensions so how do we actually know what's going on so we have this package JSON file in all of our projects. It contains metadata about our project, but Node.js only cares about five of those fields, name, main, imports, exports, and type. For the sake of this um, presentation, I'm, going to, I'm just going to focus on the type attribute. Type can be a module or a common JS. So 
I think you're understanding where, where I'm going with this. Um, example, we have a name, Node Congress to, to 2024. We have a main attribute and we have a type, which corresponds to module. So how does Node.js know if you're using ESM or CommonJS? So first, it checks for file extensions. Node.js checks for file. If it's MGS, then it's ESM. If it's CGS or GS, then it is CommonJS. So finding the package JSON. So we first check for the extensions. If the extension is basically a .js file, then we don't know what, what it is. Then we need to look for the package JSON that we are executing the uh, app, th this file in. So we need to know the context. So Node.js tries to find the closest package JSON uh, in the directory until, until root. So it checks for app my project package JSON and so on and so forth until the root. If it's not found, then it's, it's going to assume something else. Node.js checks it and whenever the package JSON uh, value is found, Node.js checks the type field in the package JSON. And if it's uh, if it's module, it uses ESM loaders, the loader implementation in Node.js. Um, and if it's not, then it's common JS. So if type is not present, we couldn't find a package JSON. What happens if type is not present? We check for an experimental flag, experimental detect module. This is pretty new in Node um, 20 or 21. Um, it automatically checks if the file that you're running is a common JS file or a ESM file. This is particularly new because um, this is an experimental flag and there are known issues with it, but we are working on it. So if we have experimental detect module, uh, then we detect if the file is a required, like if, if it's an ESM or a um, common JS. If not, then we fall back to common JS. So then we know um, then we know how, how our application starts because we know the initial e initial script is written in ESM or CommonJS. But the issue is what happens if you want to require a file from ESM that's implemented in CommonJS? Or you want to call a function that's CommonJS or an ESM from a CommonJS um, module. So. What about Node.js module depth resolution? Like if you have a module, node modules implement a, a package inside your dependency list and it's implemented in either common JS or ESM. So Node.js checks the type field in the package JSON of the uh, dependency. If it's module, um, it uses ESM, otherwise common JS. If type is not present, it uses the type of the parent package, which is the root package that our project's package JSON contains it. So um, let's, continue with some tips to improve the loading time. So because we talked about all of these package JSON loaders, uh, system calls, uh, we talked about the detection, the extensions, and so on and so forth. So if you want to avoid all of those things, and if you want to start Node.js as soon as possible, what you could do is that you need to, um, if you are using, if you have an ESM application, you can use an experimental default type um, CLI flag, which will automatically eliminate all of those checks and it will always return ESM. It will not check for the extension. It will not check for anything else. It will just load the ESM loader. For existing projects, use a type field in package JSON to specify the module type. Um, if you don't have a common JS type, then we assume that it's common JS, but if you have it, um, then I recommend using it. For one-time scripts, um, let's say you want to execute node index.js and it doesn't have a package JSON or anything else. So if you're running a one-time script, make sure that you have a, either in the same directory or in the parent directory, you have a package JSON with a type field. So we know if it's an ESM or a CGS and we don't have, we don't have to traverse the whole uh, file system in a, a file root path in order to understand if it's ESM or uh, CGS. If you don't want to do that, if you don't want to have a package JSON, you, you should use .mgs for ESM and .cgs for common JS. Uh, of course, uh, this hints us towards if it's an ESM or a CGS. Um, if you, uh, on top of that, you can use experimental detect module. If you don't, if you just want to write .js, but you don't want to care about um, extensions or packages, and you can always use experimental detect module. But know that this is an experimental uh, flag and it has some issues. On top of that, the first thing you can use experimental default module for ESM if you want to go straight to the ESM path. So in order to 
un improve the module resolution as i said uh, by default we check for that js.json and so on and so forth always use extensions in requiring import calls this is extremely important in ESM, this is required. In CommonJS, it's not, but uh, we recommend you to um, always use extensions. And thank you for listening, and I hope um, you learned something today.